happy full moon weekend. Happy almost Halloween. I hope this video finds you well. I just wanted to pop in here really quick to share with you a super simple trick that works for me. Maybe it will work for you if you're the kind of person who maybe gets stuck up in your head a lot, the wheels start turning and then they like start spinning out. Anytime you maybe get into a topic where there are a lot of conflicting opinions or if you have been a spiritual seeker for a long time, a seeker of truth, sometimes there is no provable truth. Even though you encounter thought leaders, teachers, authors, people in high positions with a lot of like authority about them, they will say with a lot of conviction, like this is the truth. This is how it is. This is what happens to you after you die, or this is what you were before you came here, or anything to do with who you are as a spiritual person, what the purpose is here on the planet, how do we heal all of these strange interpersonal dramas, how do we overcome the inner hurdles that we have inside. If you're on that kind of track and that kind of thing maybe gets you hung up, or you just spend a lot of time, maybe too much time thinking about this stuff, I find it very useful to just identify these things as stories. Keep in mind, I believe in the imaginal realm. I believe in stories. I believe in belief. I believe in the power of belief. But if you're a person who's up in your head and questioning things a lot, it's actually hard to develop a new belief, even if it might serve you, because you're so, is this true? Is this true? How can I prove it? You know, and you go on these deep dives of research and I think a lot of disillusionment can happen if you are searching in that way. And so what I like to do is not ask myself, is it true? Is this a true story? I identify it as a story and then I say, is it useful? Is it useful? Is it useful is so much more useful than is it true? And by is it useful, I mean, does it give me energy? Does it uplift me? Does it get me into action in a way that I need to be to stay aligned with my dreams and my sense of purpose and my values? Does it give me hope? Does it strengthen my faith? Does it make me feel like, yes, I can do that thing? Does it make me feel like, it's okay to put myself out there and make mistakes. Does it make me feel the way I wanna feel? Is it useful? What does it do for me? What happens if I believe this? And then I don't really have to subscribe to any one story as a true story, particularly when it comes to religion, like the end all, be all, this is the way it is. I can just relax and be like, that's a beautiful story. I like that story. And it kind of reminds me of this story over here. And I find what they have in common. And it's always that thing that is useful. For me, a useful story is not that if you are good here on earth, you will be rewarded in heaven. Or if you are bad here on earth, you will be punished in hell for all eternity. That's not useful. That's not inspiring. That doesn't feel good. And I don't buy it. I don't buy into that story. But what is useful to me is the idea that I create my own heaven and hell right here on earth in the present moment and that it's an inside job. It's all about my perspective. It's how I frame things. It's about the peace that I bring with me when I enter into a room. And not only that, what makes it more compelling is not just that I can create heaven or hell for myself, but that I can do it for the people around me as well, because I am bringing that energy. I am bringing that state of heaven or hell with me wherever I go, including social media. That is useful. That is a useful story. So the next time you find yourself coming up against maybe a spiritual concept or philosophy that you find intriguing, but you kind of want to go down the wormhole to see like who validates this, what doctor gave this the stamp of approval, and can anybody prove that this is true, and what is the historical record? If you're going to waste a lot of time doing that and not getting a sense of satisfaction out of it and not really getting anywhere, try this on instead. Is this useful? Is this useful? What does this do for me? Is it a story I can use? Is it a story that I can choose 
to believe in because it makes me feel the way I want to feel and that makes me do the things I want to do in the world. I'm very hot on this idea about story. Story everything. Because once you start to see that stories are everywhere and people are selling you things using stories, they are getting you to vote a certain way, telling you stories, they are getting off the hook with you maybe for bad behavior when they're telling certain stories. When you start to hear that like you are surrounded by stories at all times and people tell stories because either they want to connect which is a beautiful thing or they want to control and they've learned how to tell compelling stories to get people to do what they want them to do they have a lot of charisma they know how to tell a story that sells itself and that's often done through fear if they can tell you a scary enough story they can actually earn your trust and get you to buy the thing or to vote this way or that way or to hate this person that they hate. It's fascinating business, this human storytelling stuff. I talked about this already, but late at the end of the summer, I created something called Story Plexus, the audacity to create a more meaningful life. And about 34 people went through it with me live. It took twice as long as I thought it would take to create. <laughs> And I'm very grateful to those early people who went through it with me because there were many delays and I still actually find myself adding to it and it's something that I think I'm gonna keep tweaking for a very long time because I love talking about this stuff. But anyway, Story Plexus is officially created and I'll probably just keep upgrading it over the years as I go along. But I also now am ready to start talking story, story, story on social media, on my podcast, in my newsletter. You heard it here first. So if you're interested in learning about story, specifically how your life is your story, you are the co-author of your life, you are the protagonist of your life, and you tell your story, you define your character, and you shape your story by the choices that you make every single day. You tell your story by the living of it. If that interests you, if that sounds fun to you, I highly recommend checking out Story Plexus, the audacity to create a more meaningful life. And yes, it takes audacity because of all the different stories that are competing for your attention at all times. It takes audacity to be like, this is what I choose to believe. This is how I choose to live my story. This is how I choose to define my character. And these are the stories I tell to get myself through the day based on whether or not they are useful. Is this useful? Does this help me as the protagonist, as the main character of my story, reach my goal, fulfill my purpose, stay in alignment with my values? Or does it get me spinning out and wasting the precious hours of my life on the internet? This is not the last you will hear from me about this, but this is the beginning. Story Plexus is officially now out in the world. Follow the link around here, check it out, see if it's for you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. And until we meet again, happy Halloween, happy Samhain, happy holiday season all the way through to the happy new year. 2023 is almost over, my friends. Let's live it up. Let's live it on purpose. Let's live our story on purpose. Much love to you. Peace.